Hello, buzz and gods, my name is Otsti and welcome back to Factorio, uh, where we will build up uh, our base towards uh, high capacity of uh, science production without using a main bus, but rather uh, follow the approach of having rail blocks uh, and within those blocks we will produce materials like last time we did here for the uh, cliff explosives so we can properly lay out our rail blocks like you can see uh, up there in the right upper corner um, we have already started and the only thing we transport with trains are ores, liquids and the actual science packs. And uh, last time we started here uh, with this tiny setup, you can see we have quite a bit of room to spare for this setup, but that's probably because for the cliff explosives we don't really go for for high capacity we just need one assembly machine um, to produce the final product and for what i have planned today uh, this will be no different because we want to have our basic materials like uh, uh, belts i think yellow and red will do because we usually don't need to have thr high throughput on the belts so that should do us uh, then of course uh, the the inserter variants uh, hopefully also stack inserters for that we need uh, red circuits um, and then i think the, the whole setup that we will need for uh, our rail infrastructure that will be a different block so let's see what we need here uh, in terms of uh, materials um, let's add all the recipes um, And we also want the splitters in both colors. We want to have the inserters, the blue, red ones, the long-handed inserters, the blue one, um, the stack inserters. And then we probably also want to have uh, assembly machines and miners. So let's move the, the belts down because the belts are ingredients for the other things um, right and then we can say let's do this and that and this one's also to the to be done there then the yellow adds a basic ingredients that we need. So we will use these machines. Okay. Uh, 
maybe make them the default. And this is more about the the ratio. So to get to get that right. And I think because we will have several um, uh, factories where we will need to produce uh, basically the the red circuits as a material for for input. So I hope to come up with a design that we can then uh, reuse. Um, that one we also want to have. Um, and this needs to go down because it's an input. And that should be everything. Uh, and here you can see we will need quite a few um, of assemblers for the for the copper cables. Uh, we will need two for a green circuits, and we will need eight for the red ones. However, I don't expect that we will need to, sus uh, to produce sustainably stack and uh, inserters uh, on that high level. So probably if we, there are modular uh, setups for green circuits, for red circuits, if we can uh, use those, probably one module would be uh, sufficient uh, and then of course we need uh, smelting yes that's also a part of of the whole challenge we cannot uh, we have to use the the raw ores uh, here and as we have coal in this setup we can use the uh, the, the steel furnace instead of the, the electric ones and we can keep those until the end because we will have coal here anyway so oh we also need steel so that's another thing and here i think it's it's more about having the the right ratio for the for the different uh, materials um, probably we will have a setup that's limited by the materials that we can put in um, but as i said we don't need to have a constant throughput of uh, one item per second it's just that we can produce these things over time uh, so that we don't we don't need uh, to handcraft everything So that means we have four input materials, which is very nice because uh, our square has four sides. So uh, no fumbling about with uh, trying to fit uh, more than one station on one side, which we had to do over here because we only had one side accessible. So uh, let's see uh, how I can clear this square up, uh, place in the stations, uh, have the unloading, and we need the smelting, 
and maybe have the, the basic set up for the, for the circuits going. We have the beginning of a setup with uh, iron smeltery, uh, copper smeltery, uh, plastic or uh, uh, plastic production facility. We don't need that much. Uh, we do have uh, green circuit production and red circus circuit production. And the astute observer might have noticed that uh, in our setup we don't have any copper field hooked up. So this whole thing will stall as long as uh, we don't have any copper delivered here. And I think that will be something that will only happen next time but basically uh, this we can tile over uh, in this direction and this is also tileable in this direction so um, here probably green that's two and a half times we can squeeze it in maybe if we uh, move everything a bit further to the right might be uh, uh, actually three times I think the red uh, production you can also fit in uh, three of these circular shaped builds. And that then basically leaves about half the square down here where we can try to uh, uh, build up uh, everything else. Uh, we have iron, we have steel. In theory, we have copper, we have plastics. Um, we also have the copper wire that we need for the uh, circuits. Um, we don't need copper wire anywhere else. So, for these are the main ingredients. So, basically, all that's still missing our iron gears and then we can see about uh, setting up a factory uh, for the for everything else well, let's move the car a bit out of the way and my usual setup is uh, basically let's try it like this And then we will have something like that. And that should be the, the production for gears. But let's actually move that a bit closer. Uh, after all, we want to be a bit conservative with the space in those squares. Um, so we can have this like so. And probably before long I will run out of uh, materials. So here, that's where we grab the, the iron. This is where we put out the iron here. Um, and then we have to set everything up. And here on the side that's where we get our iron in. Um, let's have another splitter here. And then
nice. Then we can have belts, the yellow ones. And here in the middle, we will have a box that we actually limit to one stack because it's it's just for uh, for throughput that goes like that and then on this side we can have the splitters which also need uh, the green circuits so we then Here we don't need, but here we need the gears and we also need iron. Let's do that on this side. And have another split there. And then I will just grab a few more materials so I should have enough to finish this build here and basically what we will end up doing is we also need Uh, more chests here um, because after all we have to then also output the materials and that uh, will be the input for the next one here we probably have a bit um, more buffer uh, because those will then be the actual chests um, which we will use to grab items from. What better way to ensure that you have all the material than to actually build everything up and then do a show and tell, which is exactly what I'm doing. We here have, we have here the uh, yellow belt production, which is still missing the uh, electric circuits but we have a belt for that here and off of that we then have the, the red belt production um, only here we are missing uh, the power uh, we can have that and then even further up we have the um, the inserters yellow red to the side uh, which are the easier one the blue ones they require the electronic circuits uh, and then they also go here um, towards the stack inserters uh, that we then can also put on the side up here we have our assembly machines and our miners um, maybe also uh, let's add power here and here to this side we then hopefully in the near future we can also build the uh, the assembly machines level four three that's that's two yeah so one more level and here uh, we actually want to have the green circuits um, they are coming here And 
and then the output of the red circuits that's actually this line here we can move that down to there and then we can nicely grab ourselves some belt from here um, to finish that part off uh, we will pull this all the way over to here uh, because red belt or the red circuits go here on the outside and with that at least in theory we have the, the whole setup all that's missing to really kick off here is some copper uh, as mentioned we will see to that in the next episode but from the looks of it everything fit in nicely in this one square and we even have a bit room to expand uh, which which is always nice um, so hope you enjoyed this uh, series this episode and uh, tune in next time when we sort out um, the uh, copper situation and probably make our way uh, towards the electric furnace uh, because whenever we have a setup where we don't need coal um, as a natural input uh, which basically only happens if we need uh, plastics or grenades uh, then we are probably better off with uh, uh, smelting um, with electric furnaces but all that's for the next episode until then goodbye